Hi, and welcome back to Big Match of the Day. Uh, today we're going to look at one game uh, away in the top flight, away to Notts County. Ooh, the glamour, I know, but this is a belting game and a belting performance. Um, what's really notable from here is the state of the pitch. Whenever we see games being played, especially in the Premiership, or when a Premier team has to go uh, abroad to a team with a, 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 you know, a less good pitch, or in the, the FA Cup, we always hear about how it's almost impossible to play on a poor quality pitch and how everything goes out the window and it's a great equaliser. Well, Watford and Notts County play out an absolute blinder on a mud bath. And again, Nigel Callaghan insists that we take notice of him. We're not one, but two absolute belters of a goal. Let's see the footage. Watford with seven wins and a draw in their last nine games, playing from left to right in yellow. And Knox County, who haven't won for eight league matches, are wearing the white shirts with the thin black stripe, playing from the right. McParland. Here's Terry. That was Tristan Benjamin. Riley Richards. Christie. Richards again. McCulloch's made another good run, number eight. And there are three waiting in the centre here for County. And Harkook! What a good start. Forward by Kilcline. Christie is coming in. Shot by Terry. Penalty. The ball was safe, really. It was going through to Sherwood, but Steve Terry appeared to knock Trevor Christie and a penalty is at the referee without hesitation. And what a chance here for Notts to go two up. And 2-0. He made no mistake. That was a good header by Terry and a good turn by Riley. Didn't quite shake off Kilcline the first time and indeed the second time he was fouled by him. That's Riley and that's Jacket and off Hunt for an own goal. Flicked on by Riley for Kenny Jacket. McDonough doing his best, but the ball ricocheted off David Hunt. And Watford are back in it after 15 minutes. Hunt shakes his head in disbelief, but it's 2-1. There's Barnes. And now Jacket. Kilcline's clear and straight to Rostron. Pass Richards on to Riley. Rostron for the return beautifully. Oh, good stop by McDonough. It had to be. And a good move too. Jim McDonough got his hand to it from Wilf Rostron. That was a lovely one to that between Rostron, who made the initial run, and Riley. Rostron continuing. Cross shot. And McDonough got a hand to it. Barnes and it was Hunt. Jacket whose foot was high, the referee said no. Barnes and Callahan's coming in. As he did so, he was uh, injured in a collision, I think, with the goalkeeper, although there was a defender in there as well. And Nigel Callahan is down, came in with Clark actually. This is Johnston and Barnes. Skip round Benjamin there, and Hunt's clearance only came as far as Rostron, whose cross in finds Les Taylor and Callahan. Oh, what a good shot! That's a beauty. He's entitled to celebrate there, Nigel Callahan. A sweet strike of the ball as it came across. A poor Notts County clearance, it's true, which found Rostron. Les Taylor looked dangerous, but when it came to Callahan, he swung at that with his left foot, and it went in, sweet as you like. Johnston, Rostron, Riley, Rostron again, always looks to attack and he's pushed a good ball forward there to Johnston, wide of him is 
Callahan with a drive. Oh, his second. And an even better one, perhaps. Marvellous shot by Nigel Callahan. He's taking the first time today with either foot, and they're flying in. McDonough had no chance at all. Rostron again engineered the attack, but with Johnston pushing the ball wide, Callahan didn't hesitate. Hit it right foot, and a superb goal. Joe Callahan's two goals have taken his total for the season to ten, and he's now looking for his first ever hat trick for Watford. Notts County have now let in 26 goals at home in the league this season. That's the highest goals against total in the first division. Home matches, and uh, once again they've been guilty of spurning a lead. But can they turn the match around in the second half, as Watford did in the first? Here's Riley. Little back heel, and Callahan seizing a chance to shoot again. Johnston, and Barnes is there. Against the bar, Riley. Oh, bad luck on the keeper, but it's a goal for George Riley. 4-2 to Watford in the first minute of the second half. Barnes came in with the header. It crashed against the bar. And although McDonough did manfully to block Riley at first, the shot went in to compound Notts County's misery even more. McParland takes on Franklin, McCulloch near post, Christie! That's a well-taken goal and very well made too. And there's a gap there because Clark was caught upfield, it's Callahan looking for Riley, just overhit it slightly, and the goalkeeper was checked when he came to collect that, was he? Or did he have his foot high? It's an indirect free kick to Watford against Jim McDonough. And it's got the Notts County nerves on edge again. They've only just got back into the match. And here they are pulling all their players back to defend on their own six-yard line. Barnes can sometimes curl these. Callahan will look perhaps for a strike. Jacket did. Oh. A thunderous shot, but over the bar. Johnston. Taylor. Callahan. Oh, and Riley! Good effort. Service coming from Nigel Callahan. Excellent cross, and well judged too on the volley by Big George Riley, who's shown this afternoon, for those who didn't realise, that he's not just a good player when the ball's in the air. And now Riley with Johnston outright. Callahan. Barnes has begun to run through the centre. Riley is in space. That's his cross, and John Barnes is there. Oh, and he just hung on, McDonough. Barnes deliberately waiting to let that one come down before he struck for goal, and Jim McDonough smothered it. A poor clearance, though. Rostron back in. Riley's there, waiting for Barnes to take over. John Barnes blocked by Harcook. Riley now. It's a good ball too, Taylor. Barnes, Les Taylor. Oh, that's a brilliant break by Les Taylor. Really is. And the chip across could find Johnston. What a fine goal to make it five. And what a tribute to the football of Les Taylor. So often the unsung Watford player. That was a smashing piece of play from midfield, it should be said. For those who think Watford haven't got one. To break like that on the edge of the area, go round the defender, cut out the goalkeeper, get a cross back from there. And Mo Johnston said thank you very much. And that's 5-3 to Watford. Johnston's 14th goal in his last 15 games. And 83 minutes gone. Jacket finds Callahan. He starts a run and looks for what a lovely ball. Superb. George Riley. Johnston just inside him. Riley goes Puskill Klein. Three in the middle for Watford. Benjamin's header, only half away. Callahan. Can Callahan complete his hat trick? He's going through and couldn't finish. Now the centre of the Knox County defence again. Laid wide open there. 
Nigel Callahan in the end getting underneath the final effort. Field where Les Taylor was quite outstanding for Watford. What a match he had, bearing in mind he's been injured recently. And the visiting supporters can celebrate an eventful game which has left the home side in terrible difficulties in the first division table. A final score at Meadow Lane of Notts County 3, Christie 2 and Harcook, Watford 5, Callahan 2, Riley, Johnston and a Hunt own goal. George Riley and Morris Johnston doing what they did. They were only together for a season because Johnston moved back up north to Celtic, uh, which was a great shame. He was great while he was here, but of course he moved back and we got somebody quite good back from AC Milan. Whatever happened to him? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and we will see you again soon on Big Match of the Day. Cheers.